Hi, I'm DJ Tom from Monster RX9 that we play on. The story went on. It's fun. Yeah. Hi, I'm DJ Tom from Wild and Wicked Snack and Remix Fridays. I was the youngest DJ that got in there during that batch. And I came from a student DJ program from another radio station. I decided to audition to The Monster. I was given uh, tips. Oh, there's going to be an opening in RX. You want to try it out? So I tried it out. Uh, luckily, I got in. Oh, yeah, when I, when I auditioned here, I had a an interview with uh, Louis D, our program director. Since I had training as a student DJ with another radio station, I was asked to board ASAP for one hour. And they heard me, they, I was, after boarding for an hour, they gave me, okay, you can board two hours. And then no, you can board four hours. And then uh, eventually I got in, became part of the team. And uh, the story went on, it's fun. The first show was, uh, well, it didn't have a name, it's just a graveyard show. And then it became the late night thing. And then I was given the task of becoming the love doctor for several decades. And in the man, more than a decade long. That's a several decades in Tagalog, and so on. How did I become Dr. Love? It was just about, uh, I was just, I auditioned among other DJs who wanted to be uh, the voice of Dr. Love, taking over from the previous Dr. Love. Because I think he's retiring, and then I took over. I I took I got the part, and then and that's how it is. I became the representative of my generation. I became the, the the kuya of people who have love problems. They would call in it's grade school. I was playing with the turntable at home, and uh, well, good thing my dad didn't complain about me making noise when I, you know, whenever I played with the turntable, played lo really really loud. And uh, since I get to see how DJs do it, I would have uh, classmates who have mobile setups, like turntable setups at home. And I see them play with our turntables, or their kuyas play with the turntables. I try to copy them, so I would play with the turntable, scratch the vinyl a little bit. I would do that at home. And uh, I never thought when I would reach college, I'd be in uh, working for a radio station. Well, my passion for radio actually started when I was in high school. I, well, of course, you know, peak of listening to the radio. We would also visit radio stations to see how things are happening, how, how DJs would do it. I, I get to hear on the radio that there's this audition going on for student DJs. You know, as you could study and you, you could be in college and you could uh, learn how to become a DJ at the same time. So I grabbed the opportunity. I joined in on the program and then uh, they trained me well. Uh, I guess. <laughs> so and it, it became an easy ticket for me to enter the monster. And it's a good thing they liked uh, how I was trained over there. I, I guess I really love music. Uh, since, yeah, grade school, I was part of a choir. I would sing a lot. And then in high school, I was part of a rock band. I, I'd be the vocalist of our rock band in high school. Uh, my skills got enhanced when it comes to getting involved with music. Uh, voice acting at the same time. And then I was able to grab the opportunity to become uh, the voiceover for Eat Bulaga at the same time because I guess I, I had the good reputation of, you know, of, of uh, representing the monster. Uh, they were looking for a voiceover talent at that time to, to take over to, from, from the previous one. And then uh, that's how it is. That's why I'm very thankful that uh, I got in here. It, it opened a lot of doors for me and a lot of, uh, great opportunities plus uh, those amazing trips with the monster out of the country my first trips out of the country are because of the monster or should i say the golden era of uh, the monster in the 90s and then it continued on right right until now we're still evolving adjusting to uh, new technology to the times to, with with new audience members with the with, uh, with the successors of uh those cool titos and titas who are now, you know, having their pamankins or their kids listen to the monster. And it's great because, you know, new music always comes in every day, every week. It makes the job very interesting 
as always, it, it doesn't stop there. I mean, it, it continued on becoming as interesting because of uh, the new stuff you get to encounter, aside from the fact that you get to talk to um, celebs, music artists. You're also going to be given the opportunity to interview these uh, celebs, these artists. You'll be sent abroad just to interview these artists. A great experience becoming a monster jock and becoming part of the t of Team Monster for several years now. Oh yeah, you know, I remember back in I was just when I was just a listener, I not yet a DJ. I would call. I would call the Monster and greet my friends on there and it feels great. And now I'm on the other side of <laughs> Of the of things, it's it's great that I'm you know making them feel the way the same way. And uh, so far, a lot of people are still saying it, it it hasn't changed. Hearing your name on the radio, getting your name mentioned on the radio, getting acknowledged. And plus, there are other means for them to let you know that they're listening in. They are letting there there are also ways for them to let you know what songs they want to hear. It's much easier for them now to interact with the DJs. Unlike before, it's you have to call a busy hotline to be able to get in touch with a DJ and to tell him, hey, I'm listening. Hey, I want to hear this song. Hey, I want to dedicate this song to my favorite girl, to my crush. Something like that. But now they, they're, they have a lot of ways. Even before I became a DJ, I would even copy them. I would record, you know, uh, acting like a DJ and send the mix tape or that certain tape, because way back we were using cassette tapes, to uh, to send it out to that girl that, that I want to dedicate that song with. like. I acted like, oh, I requested a song for you and dedicated it. Something like that. I, you know, I, I uh, acted like the DJ, but, you know, I did not reveal that I was the one acting like the DJ. But the, the important thing is uh, I was able to get her name mentioned on the air, you know, got a song dedicated to her on air. That's how it is. And even to my friends, I even tell her, oh, I greeted you guys on air. And then I would be doing it like, you know, I, I would do my, I would run my own radio show. Yeah, using these recorders way back, and uh, I got I got excited. Uh, I, I I was excited to check out things that I could use, uh, things I should add to my setup, to my equipment at home, so I'd be able to uh, do a uh, an awesome broadcast at home. So <laughs> it, it, it's great how technology has evolved and allow us to, uh, you know, do our thing, share our music, entertain people in uh, different ways possible, and especially with the, the power of the internet. Imagine you could broadcast and uh, also the access to music. We have uh, access to many songs, a, a lot of songs that uh, we want to dedicate, we want to play to our audience, to our listeners. Uh, I, also, I also had the opportunity to be a club DJ for a certain period of my life while being a DJ here on The Monster. Of course, you know, having that reputation of being a monster DJ, just like what I said earlier, it opens up a lot of great opportunities. I was invited to play in clubs. Hey, can you be our Friday DJ? Can you be our Saturday DJ? So I was able to experience that kind of privilege of being able to, oh, I can actually have all the drinks I want for the night. I can even bring my friends and have them order their drinks for free for the night. So that's how it is, you know. Weekends or weeks became really, really quick around that time because I would be having my weekends uh, you know, to look forward to with, with, with partying all the time for free, right? It, it's, a, it's a great routine. I, I loved it a lot. And, uh, and so far, hopefully, you know, we could go back to it after the pandemic. Uh, definitely, we're going to go back to it. Oh, yeah. Thank you so much, Monsters, for the love and support for years and years of listening to the Monster. New music, new artists, plus new student DJs as well, where we share our knowledge of becoming a uh, training with us on Radio One. Thanks so much for that. Plus, uh, continue on sharing, liking, and uh, supporting us, following us in the world of social media. We are also there. Where hopefully, next year we'll be celebrating our anniversary at, at a club, at, at an awesome venue, and uh, we'll be rubbing elbows again together. <laughs>